everybody. Morning. As you can see, we're in the car and we have to nip into Chester to get a part for the van. Radiator cap. Yeah. But we are trying to get to McDonald's um, because we've not had one for donkeys. For breakfast. <laughs> for breakfast, yes. Um, I don't know what time they actually stop serving breakfast. I think it might be 10. I don't think we're going to make it. But we're going to try. <laughs> Currently still on Stephen's mum's drive, um, just sorting bits on the van. Needs a good clean today. And now we've got some sunshine. It's pretty windy though, isn't it? Yeah, we've got an admin day. <laughs> got an admin day. Clean the van clean the inside van. and yeah. out, and start uh, loading it up with our Europe stuff. Yes. Uh, yeah, and I um, we went to Manchester yesterday to see my mum and sister and one of my friends, which was really nice. Had a really nice day. Our well, she's my friend first. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> and Stephen went to drop the bike off that we sold. And then on Sunday, I'm going back into Manchester with um, my lovely two stepdaughters, and we're going to. Bongo, bingo, bongo, whatever it's called, I don't know. And Stephen's being a taxi. <laughs> He's not happy about it, but he is. <laughs> but yeah, we've done more than that. We're just kind of hanging around and waiting. Getting stuff done. No. We've had crap weather. We have had really, really rubbish weather. To work. We haven't been able to do anything outside. No. Um, I've barely even been able to get out for a run. It's been that rubbish. Yes, we've got things to do. So we'll update you and see if we actually manage to get to McDonald's on time. Put your foot down. I can't. It's 20 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. It's Wales. Everywhere in Wales is 20 miles an hour, which is crap. Until now. <laughs> National speed limit. Go! <laughs> see you in a bit. We made it to McDonald's in time. That was actually quite nice, wasn't it? Awesome. Not had that for a very, very long time. No. I am surprised. I'm sure the last time we went to McDonald's for breakfast, it was about eight quid though. And that was £10 and 8p. <laughs> Can't remember how much it was. I don't think it was over a tenner. It's gone up quite a bit, but uh, everything has the ten pound new pee, but you had a la uh, double sausage and egg with muffin, didn't you? Yeah. And then just had a normal one. Um so yeah, we're gonna go and pick up our part and get back to the van and start cleaning and sorting. crashing the buggy you kept turning the bloody power off so it had no power steering <sighs> tell you what don't work with your partner because you do want to throttle them <laughs> you couldn't drive before we went full time you can't lift car now I'm a good driver I haven't got any points on my license no but you killed someone Kill someone, he ran out in front of me. No, you mowed him down because uh, he, he, he ran out on a green light. <laughs> he ran out in front of me and then he ran away. <laughs> died. <laughs> we might off, but he ran away. <laughs> that was about a million years ago, anyway. I've never, I've never killed anyone. Mate, what, one mistake that's not even your fault and he never lets you forget it. Anyway, I'm going to go for a throttle on camera because he's actually doing my head in this morning. No, I'm not. See you in a bit. So we're back at the van. Stephen is up on the roof cleaning the roof. I'm doing all these kitchen cupboards. I think I did that one last week. So there's these. I've just done these ones. And in order to clean up there where the flowers are, I have to climb onto the table, which is fun. Um, yes, yeah, so van cleaning day, lots of fun. But it's got to be done. Bathroom's got to be done. And I think we're about going out for a meal tonight because it's Stephen's birthday next week. Um, but I can't remember if it's today or not. We'll have to see. Okay, we're done. The van is clean. It is 25 past three. It's taken us all day. Inside and out done. Happy? I think so. <laughs> We've even carpet cleaned the rug while Stephen has on the bathroom mat because some of that 
what is it, toilet solution got dropped on it. Um, but it seems to have come out, which is good. It's very light green, so probably it looks better than it did. Yes. So I'm going to go and have a shower and chill out for a bit because I'm knackered. <laughs> Are you knackered? I'm always knackered. And I'm hungry. We've had nothing to eat since that McDonald's. Have we? No. Or a cup of tea. We've had nothing, actually. We've just worked since we got back. Yeah. <laughs> we needed to be done. So now I'm going to have a shower and then I'm going to have a cup of tea. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Good morning. We are getting the train into Wrexham. Um, we don't actually know what we're doing because we've not been on a train in about four years? Three or four years and the last time was when we went to Manchester Christmas markets together. But I think you buy the tickets on the train, there isn't a ticket machine here. No, I, Anywhere. I don't have to have a look to I see oh, I've if, had a look. if you have to do it online or anything. It seems to no, so we're just going to get on the train and see. It might drug us off. <laughs> But we, we need to go and do a bit of shopping and it costs to park in Wrexham then we have the added cost of insuring Stephen's dad's car for the day and the fuel so it just seemed better to just go on the train. Yeah. So we'll take you into Wrexham. Finally on the train, it was delayed by how long? 12 minutes or something? About well, longer than that. It could be 26 minutes past. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20, yeah. 18 minutes. So, let's we'll see if we get chopped off. <laughs> I've been shopping and I'm getting moaned at for spending money. But we've just been in USC and Stephen saw a pair of jeans. £229. And he wanted to buy them. Yeah. £229 for one pair of jeans. What's wrong with you? I said I liked them. They were nice. They were. They were actually really horrible. Or not very nice. <laughs> you just knew they were expensive. I, didn't, I, was, I was expecting over a hundred pound, but I wasn't expecting over two hundred pound. That's just stupid money. So it's a no. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, he knew we were coming shopping for me today. All he's done is moan that I've gotten in shops and bought stuff and tried We've stuff been out. here since nine o'clock. It is now twenty past one, and we've only been in three Susie shops. It's twenty past one. We didn't get on the train till twenty past eleven, and we've stopped at Costa. So no, I haven't been that long actually. You have. No, I haven't. You have. <laughs> Such a knob. On the way back now, going backwards, which I don't like, but it's quite fun. Stephen's just finding the tickets. So for two people to return on the train was £7.60. Um, we worked out that driving would have cost us a fair bit more. A bit more, right? Yeah, yeah, a bit more with fuel, parking and insurance for the day. Yeah. So we saved a bit of money there, but I spent it on shopping. <laughs> Hey. I spent it on shopping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Steven's not spent nothing apart from his cost though. No, because I'm sensible. Apart from he wants in a £220, £30 pair of jeans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, back to the van. See the doggos. See how much gas we've got left. So it's cold today. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Can I put your seatbelt on? I'm already going here. Oh, here's yeah, going to the cash machine. So we've just been to the food, that was the food bank, the clothes bank to drop off a load of clothes. Um, and seems going to the cash machine. We're just at Tasco. Um, we've got some bits and bats to do today. I forgot the other day. Got to go and drop off a parcel. Got to go and do a bit of shopping. Got a bike and a bit of stupid vans everywhere. Just have to go in the space and walk over. Yeah, so I had quite a lot of. Um, old clothes that didn't fit anymore that I've had to get rid of sadly because you know when something's comfy and you really love it but yeah there's no point in keeping hold of it it didn't fit so I've had to replace a few bits and bats of clothes well I don't have as many as I did but you know how it is and Stephen's got to get some cash because we're having a Chinese with his mum and dad tonight it's cash only and then we've got to go drop off a parcel do a bit of shopping so we just insured the car for the day and I want to 
So we needed toilet fluid and we were passing, so we're in spinny motorhomes. So even spotted a Swift Contiki Sport 596. So these are the ones with the end lounge and the drop down bed. It's quite nice actually, isn't it? Well, how much was it? £72,000? 71,950, so 72. And how old is it? Uh, 20, I think. 20 plate. It's got your dinette. Yeah. Drop down bed. Drop down bed, just showing them that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't put it on my head. <laughs> <laughs> and the end lounge now these end lounges not as big as the bailey actually aren't they no i don't know no they're not it's not as big as the bailey okay. but it's nice it feels i, I like I don't like the shower it's the, the windows small. are small the windows are really small compared to the bailey but I like this area really. You feel yeah. like you've got a lot of room. Nice big wardrobe. Yeah. Freezer. Ooh, is that smaller than that? I'll see that. Hold on. Because it's a. Mm, it's higher, but not as wide. Mm. Big fridge, though. Full size cooker. Three Put burners and an induction. Big draw. I like it, it's nice. 72,000 oh, That's a lot of money. It's way out of our price range. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom, right? Oh, the shower's over the wheel arch. Yeah, no, that's what I said. I don't mind it, but I'm a little. Yeah, you will not get a bike in there. Oh, yeah, there's, there's no real garage space. When you look at it, the room, you won't get them in. No, you won't get our bikes in. You get scooters in, not bikes. You it's a nice van. Old one, Really nice van. Um, really cupboard space. Yeah. They're heavy, though. They are heavy. You don't flip them right up. Don't feel as as much storage as our van, though. Doesn't, does it? With regards it? to kitchen storage. It's got air con. Oh, they've just got left plates in. <laughs> Well, what, what, what do we, we have more cupboards at the back, don't we? Yeah, we've got more cupboards at the These back. The end lounge does feel a lot smaller. They're quite a lot bigger. But not as deep as the... No. I do feel like we, we've got more room in the Bailey. Um, but it's still a lovely van. It's just yeah. not for us. Yeah, so that's the garage space. It has got a bike rack on the back. They're going in. Yeah, but you're putting a lot of pressure 60 kilos on that. Mm. So this little van, it's about six metres, auto trail in Marla. It is £53,450 on a 2020 plate, but you can dance in it, there's loads of space in there. <laughs> there is a lot of space, I'll give it a try. Obviously, this is your bed that you're making too bad. Um, the bathroom is huge. See, these are the compromises you make for having fixed beds and whatnot because this feels yeah, massive and the end kitchen it's the same similar layout to what our old van was but we had um the dinette yeah, there's, no, storage, there's no storage apart from the cupboards heavy. if you've got bikes and stuff it's not ideal but it's a great little star van that's perfect isn't lovely. It? The, the seating area is massive look at it <laughs> Can't even reach the other side. <laughs> I make a way. Yeah. yeah, I've got plenty of storage. And yeah, and with shower, regards right? to your clothes and whatnot, the shower's huge. Go on, get in it. <laughs> wow. Get your fat belly in there. Yeah, that's massive. <laughs> Don't strip. <laughs> It's a lovely little van, actually. This is an ideal starter van. Not for living, probably, but brilliant little starter van. I do like the auto trails. You could live in it. Yeah, but same issue that I've used to have with him in our old van is that we turn this space into our bed and then I, I'd only have there to go and stand in the kitchen while he was still in bed, so... There's no for the other person that gets up early to sit when one of you wants to lie in bed. That's the issue. Yeah. Lovely little van though. 
I like it. I like it. He's yeah. cute. <laughs> I, like it. I know it if I lived on my own. <laughs> so come back. Let's go. Stay <laughs> outside. Cute little awning. So we're coming to an auto sleeper van. It's actually really nice. Um, real lounge. Not, not for us, not a lot of storage, but it's cute. I do like these van conversions. Wet room. Yeah. It's, it's a 2019 plate, Dawn 9000 miles, Nine and, and it's 61,950. It's lovely. It just feels really tiny. <laughs> mm. Everything's really low down, so if you're washing the pots, that would hurt your back, wouldn't it? Yeah. Not, not that he'd know because he doesn't wash the pots, but. Oh, shut up, man. <laughs> it hurt my back. Come on. Shit, <laughs> so, this is the one that Stephen really likes. It's um, a roller team Pegaso 740, the A class. We've just come inside. It's absolutely stunning. So, you literally walk in and to your right is the bathroom. Well, the one I want, but... though, Sue's has the U shaped lounge, not the bed. Oh, right, okay. You can go through the other door. There's your bed. Shower. You can go through the other door. Yeah. There's two doors. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like this. This is lovely. There's your loo. Shower over there. Watch the step. I can get to look in one. Yeah, it's beautiful. No, the easier. Oh, the oven. There's three shelves. Nice big shower. Wow, it's gorgeous. How much is it? <laughs> 90. 90,000 pounds? Yeah. Big freezer. Big fridge. It's absolutely stunning. Is I want it. The storage under the bottom part of the bed here. This bit here is the garage which is locked from the outside, but it's massive. Got a little, Stephen's just trying to kill me with a mattress. Some uh, wardrobe storage in there on each side. Little uh, unit for your cup of tea that Stephen can bring me in bed. Yeah. Not that that ever happens. You stand up in the bedroom. Even Stephen can stand up in the bedroom. Windows on each side. Yeah. I'm breaking the blinds already. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful van. Sadly, I'd have to wait to win the lottery to buy one. Wow, the room you get in the cab is just massive, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You've never sat in the front of it. No. I, I love this. I want it. I need to oh. win the lottery. <laughs> it's so pretty. So you've also got to drop down that bed there above the cab. Um, it's a stunning van, absolutely beautiful. I love all the lighting. Nice yeah, big sink. Free burners. I love it. I want it. It's so pretty. Get more some more clothes. <laughs> Got the nine speed auto box on a Fiat chassis. So far, the Roller Team Pegaso 740 is the only van that me and Stephen have agreed upon that we would buy if we had the money. Sadly, £90,000 is way out of our budget. Maybe one day when we win the lottery. So there's a huge surprise, there is a van that we both agree on, but it's out of our price range. <laughs> They're still pretty new though, 
I it, won't buy a brand new van. No, I won't buy a brand new van. I've got three year old. That one. that would be my ideal van. And apparently it's three and a half ton as well, so I could drive it. But you can upplate it easily. You can upplate them as well. Um for about two hundred quid. Come on, lottery. <laughs> I love it. So we hope you've enjoyed hanging around with us for the past week. We haven't done a lot, but we've took you with us with what we've been doing. Um, things are about to get a bit more interesting when we start to move again, which will be very shortly, won't it? Next week? Yes. Well, less than a week. We're on Saturday today. Next week is, 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 is like next week, you know, Monday to Friday. You're going to ask your mum and dad to sell the house so we can buy a motor on? Uh, I've sold it for sale. I don't know you <laughs> But I'm in the other way, we can afford that van. <laughs> I've shot them both. <laughs> Probably something in the will about, you know, murdering them. Oh. <laughs> Anything about selling the house. <laughs> well, you wouldn't get the house if you murdered them. No, but I was just sell the house. <laughs> oh, well, we could dream, can't we? Yeah. We'll put a deposit down. We're buying it. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, but have you been <laughs> sleeping and dreaming of that? Uh... No. No. So, yeah, we're sorry this vlog's been a bit, little bit boring. Same as Amy, just us trekking around in the car and the train and doing bits and bats, but that's what our week has been like, hasn't it? Well, yeah, sorting stuff. Yes, and we always said we would be honest and show you what we are actually up to, and that's what we're actually up to, which is yeah. not a lot. <laughs> no, no. So we are, all we've got to do is sort the garage now. Um, and some stuff that I've not sold needs to go back into the loft and then we're ready for the off. Yeah. Get gas bottles filled up. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it, I think, yeah. yeah. I think we're all, all, all right. Everything's in and yeah, we are the good. main essential Good bit. to go. Um, I've had a text message of Abby Well that our animal health certificates are ready to pick up on our collection day, which is, what day is it? Week on Monday. Is it? Yes. Right, okay. Um, I've booked a pub stopover for that night, which is in between Canterbury and Dover. Um, booked two spaces, one for us and one for Andy. So, we're pretty sorted. We Organised. <laughs> yep, we're at Canterbury on Sunday. Yes, we're going to Sunday. Canterbury Bike and Ride a week on Sunday. Spending a couple of nights with friends before that. Um, Evesham, I think. Evesham Way. Somewhere. <laughs> it's, it's down south. <laughs> yeah, it's not that way. It's that way. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry it's been a little bit boring, but it is what it is. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> life. It's our life. Yes. Yeah. Boring at the minute. Um, so, yeah, thanks very much for ever watching, everyone. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and send us £90,000. <laughs> Please. Don't listen to him. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye.